Welcome back for another video guys and today we're going to be making some snack sticks and we've got some Cajun seasoning from LEM and I'm really excited to try this. I've only ever made like hickory and uh, garlic pepper snacking sticks so we're going to try the Cajun. I'm pumped about it. It's really quick and easy to make. Um, this seasoning is actually made for like if you use the jerky gun or you just do sliced meat. I'm not a huge fan of making the sliced meat jerky. It's painstaking, it's annoying, it's time consuming. I just don't care for it. I prefer to make snack and sticks because personally I don't like to eat jerky all the time. I like to eat the snack and sticks or summer sausage and things like that. So we're going to be using this seasoning and uh, be putting it into some casings that I've got left over some pa from some past projects. and. Uh, We'll get those smoked on the Traeger uh, once we're done stuffing everything together. But first of all, we've got all of the meat here. We've got five pounds of goose meat and five pounds of pork butt. We're going to grind that with the Big Bite number eight dual grind. This thing is fantastic. I've used this a couple of times now and it is so much better than the countertop model I had been using. So I want to give a huge shout out to LEM for helping make this video possible and uh, I'm loving using this grinder because it's just made things so much quicker and easier and more efficient because sometimes when you're processing lots of meat it can get pretty time consuming. So having a good grinder makes a big difference. And if you guys have seen some of the past videos you might notice that I use these foil pans. It's quick and easy, they're not very expensive, and you don't have to deal with throwing or uh, washing out pans when you're done. So um, I'm gonna grab the components for the grinder out of the freezer here, and we're gonna get to uh, grinding the pork butt and then the goose meat, and then we'll be mixing and stuffing. So stay tuned, guys. You wanna keep all the components of your grinder cold because it, um, if it's hot, it will actually melt the fat in uh, the fat chunks that you're mixing in. So you want to make sure that you freeze this and especially with duck and goose meat, get you one of these. I'll have a link to this in the description of this video. It's a metal detector. Run it over the meat. You'll find the BBs and it'll save your grinder and your teeth and uh, then you won't have to worry about finding BBs in your finished product. I guess we'll get to rocking and rolling here. Um, I've got the fine plate on this. When I'm doing jerky sticks, I like to use the fine plate and uh, it just makes it smoother inside the casing. Uh, I I'm found, I'm found out that if you're doing like sausages and brats, you want the coarser grind. If you're doing jerky sticks, you want the finer grind. It really grinds it up, like on the fine grind? Yeah, and this is a dual grind grinder. So it's got two blades in it and uh, it, it does essentially two grinds in one pass. And, uh, which is nice. It's nice. So we're going to get her going. We got everything ground up. We're going to just kind of move these parts over to the side so we can clean them later. Now we've got to mix up some of the seasoning and the package says to uh, mix it with five ounces of water for ground so that's for like if you're using a jerky gun we're going to go by those same rules we're going to get since we're doing 10 pounds here we're going to do 10 ounces of water mix this up and then start mixing the meat oh that smells so good <coughs> It went into my sinuses. So there's the seasoning and then there's also a cure. So don't just dump that in there. You want to make sure you get the paper packet out of there. Glove up! You don't want to pick meat out from under your fingernails for a while, so just wear gloves. They also make meat mixers, but we don't have them. So we're doing this the good old fashioned way. I almost wonder if you could just like dump the water in here and the seasoning and then just mix it. Probably could. Probably helps dissolve it though. Yeah. Dissolve the... Mm. I guess I never said um, the ratio of this meat that we're doing. When I do jerky sticks, I like to do 50% pork butt and then 50% duck or goose meat. Um, 
it's just kind of given the best results. So I like it. You gotta make something you like, you know? So you gotta go with the punch method to mix it. You gotta go to the squeeze method of mixing. Get it all incorporated in there. Nice and good. The fold. I can make a whole video on the different styles of mixing meat. The different forms, I guess, is how it would go. Is that the one two Mayweather or the three four McGregor? This is the I don't know. Looks like the I was gonna make a waterfowl hunting reference, but it just didn't didn't work. That looks like the, the one two Mayweather. I gotta be careful, I might splatter meat all over the kitchen. Go from there. I think that's pretty well mixed up. So now we're on to the stuffing. Okay, the stuffer is loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and rack this thing in there. And uh, get to going on this. So we are using the collagen casings and Levi's going to get a measurement right now of the grade on the Traeger so then um, we can make them the length of the grate on the Traeger. So I'm gonna get this kind of going down here, get a little air out, and then tie a knot in the end of this. Well, we just finished stuffing all of the casings. We've got quite a few jerky sticks here, which honestly, now that I'm looking at it, it's it's about the amount I figured we'd have. But uh, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. I know I say every every time I duck meat in a video, I'm like, this is my favorite. But hands down, these are like the most convenient snack um, that you can keep with you on with duck meat, other than just dried out dehydrated jerky. These are just so much better. So we're gonna go down to the backyard, fire up the Traeger, and get that thing ready to smoke these bad boys. All right, we got the Traeger Pro 780. I think it's got enough space to uh, fit all the jerky sticks that we made, so um, that'll be perfect. We're gonna load the pellet hopper up. We've got the gourmet pellets. And we'll get her fired up. I'm gonna set the Traeger to We'll just set it at 200 to get a nice good smoke on those jerky sticks. The Traeger is preheated. It is at 204. Now we're going to go ahead and lay these sticks on. And I think we got enough space to fit them all, so that'll be good. There, we have it. I'll check up on these guys here in a little bit, but doesn't that just look tasty already? We'll see you guys later. That smells good. We're gonna rotate these around because there might be some hot spots on the grill. So, oh, these are kinda hot. Probe your meat. They're definitely getting close. Definitely juicy. All right. So we'll let that probe come back up. But we're getting pretty close. It was at 1:30 when we rotated them. They're looking really good. So just a little bit of extra time, and we'll be on our way to munching on these things. And if you guys haven't looked up the Outdoor Limits podcast, go check it out. We've got a Facebook group, and we've also got the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and uh, pretty much everywhere you could listen to a podcast. So really appreciate it. Go check out the Outdoor Limits podcast. The probe says that the temperature has been reached. Mm. Just 
look at that. They look so good. Some of them look a little crustier than others, but that's kind of to be expected. The great thing about this uh, Pro 780 is that it's got the Wi-Fi capabilities. And so I was able to adjust temperatures and monitor everything that was going on on this grill from my phone. So I even got an alarm on my phone saying that the uh, temperature has been reached. So I really like that feature about this grill. Uh-oh. Ah. Well guys, I would be lying if I said that I haven't tried these yet. I just got them all cut up and uh, ready to go in some vac vacuum sealed bags. And it doesn't look like very many of them got overcooked. Only like one or two look like they're a little bit dry. But the rest of them, they look great. They taste ph fantastic. Um, so there's maybe, you guys can see. But they turned out really good. They taste really good. I think the Cajun seasoning is uh, even better than the garlic and pepper or the hickory that I've done in the past. So you can eat a lot of these things with a couple cold beers. So I'm gonna vacuum seal these and put them in the freezer and pull them out whenever I'm wanting to eat them. So I highly recommend you guys trying this with your duck and goose meat. 50% pork butt, 50% duck and goose meat and uh, just do what I did in this video and it'll turn out great. So uh, don't just stick to those jalapeno poppers and fry in it. Go ahead and make some sausage out of it. You will love it, I guarantee it. So my wife even likes it, right Lauren? Mm -hmm. She says, mm-hmm, she ate a piece, she liked it. So these are good. If you guys are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I will leave links to them down in the description. So make sure to go check that out and I will catch you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.